Okay, guys, so, one year ago, Best Guy Ever made a YouTube video known as the Final Fantasy Lecture 101, in which he goes through and chronologically explains every single Final Fantasy game, being through 1 to 15. As you can tell, I'm actually a pretty big Final Fantasy fan, if you, uh, haven't noticed my Final Fantasy 15 poster in the background. Needless to say, when watching his four-hour video, there was one Final Fantasy which kind of got my head scratching, and it's uh, one that I probably put the most hours into, and probably one I would say has the most interesting development story, and that is, of course, Final Fantasy XIV. So, seeing as I am a uh, Pretty invested in Final Fantasy XIV, I'm gonna try my best to summate as much of it as I can in the time allotted for the Mia Matha the Two video challenge. So back in 2010, Final Fantasy XIV, directed by Nobuaki Komoto, had just been released, and its main part dealt a lot with the Garlean Empire, pretty much an evil empire that just wanted to take over the world. But the important thing is, they had this ability to summon primals. Now, primals in Final Fantasy XIV are pretty much the summons from previous Final Fantasy games, so things like, you know, Ifrit, Shiva, Rama, or Ramu, as some people pronounce it, whatever. But the important thing to note as the game progresses on, one of them tries to summon a giant moon referred to as Dalamud, which was going to destroy the world of Final Fantasy XIV. But the secret is, inside that moon was a certain primal we all know. That's right, it's your boy, Bahamut. Bahamut being a huge dragon, just wipes out everything. Now, meanwhile, as a player of the game, you are just this warrior of light, dealing with the Galian Empire, and is trying to fight the primals off, because, you know, people worship them, they get summoned, and then, destruction. So, when Dalaman starts to crush down, Instead, what happens is Bahamut comes out of his seal and just destroys everything, and you, the player, are saved by a mage known as Louisois. And what this does for the original Final Fantasy XIV game is it actually wipes it out completely. Now, the thing to take note here is actually the development of Final Fantasy XIV. When it was being developed, it was being developed by Nobuaki Komoto, who was actually the previous director of Final Fantasy XI and he had this big focus on graphics and not so much on the MMO aspect of the gameplay. When the game got released, it was not received well. But during the process of that, the president of Square had decided to replace him with Naoki Yoshida, also referred to as Yoshi P by the fans. Basically, Yoshi P played a lot of MMOs and was taken on as the new director, and when he saw Final Fantasy XIV, he was like, yeah, this game is pretty bad, we gotta put it down, we just gotta stop it. Time to stop! So, he worked on Final Fantasy XIV, as well as trying to make another Final Fantasy XIV, which led to the story of this big moon, Dalamud, crushing down and destroying the world of Final Fantasy XIV. But, that leads to the next game, A Realm Reborn, completely new, and a thousand times better than what we had with 1.0. But now the Guardian Empire is still a problem. Even though most of them were kind of wiped out during the incident of the Calamity, they still pose a problem, and not only that, the Primals still pose a problem. As you are the Warrior of Light, you generally go out to fight out these Primals and defeat them, and they are generally being summoned by different races in the world as they sort of revere them and still believe in them as gods causing them to manifest into the world in which you, as the player, have to take them down. Now, I'm not going to go through the rest of the expansions, mainly because I'm supposed to fit a five minute window, but it's to note that the story does change with the later ones, like with Heaven's Ward, Stormblood, and then the new expansion coming out later, Shadowbringers. But hopefully I did try my best to summate what I can of at least 1.0 and 2.0 and hopefully it acts as a good idea to know what Final Fantasy XIV is. Maybe somewhere in the future I'll do the other ones, but that's it for this one.